Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about Pini View application. You can think of this program as a legitimate little tweaker that adds functionality to your Windows machine, but it in fact operates as a rather unusual type of malware, namely proxyware. But first and first, let's check the program from each side, and then I will show you how to remove it. Let's start with what the program tries to look like. PinnyView is originally advertised as a small utility which allows you to add picture-in-picture -picture features to Windows. Some users may be unhappy with how similar functions on Windows works, but I still can't see large audience potential here. But, well, this is legit. Except maybe for these several lines, like iSaver? <laughs> how would you decrease your eye strain by adding a window with content on top of others? Or maybe climate change? Modern monitors take around 40 watts of power, so their impact is pretty much miserable. And all this will barely have any influence. But okay, jiggles aside, let's go on the dark side of this application. Upon installation, well, I got the promised functionality, even though it looks a bit clumsy, but at least it is free, right? No, it isn't. While taking no pay for the app itself, Pini View gets its kind in a different, much less straightforward way. During the installation, the app's user agreement says about quote-unquote sharing a bit of internet traffic under the global hub SDK. This SDK and the evasive words used in the user agreement text boil down to a rather simple point. Your system will become a proxy server node, and the binary itself is nothing other than proxyware. Proxyware is a type of malware that makes money by using your bandwidth and making your computer a proxy server. It can be masked as a normal program or exist as a tiny little blob of code somewhere on the disk. And while it may sound like less than critical thing, the effects are not what you would like to work with. Proxyware typically does not care about your experience, taking as much bandwidth as possible. So you will barely be able to do your daily job, leave alone bandwidth intensive activities like watching YouTube or loading larger files. For ones who use Metroid connection plans, this may turn out into a really expensive story. Gigabytes of traffic used by this malware will be paid by one and only your wallet. So I think it is now obvious that Pini View is a bad thing to have in your system, but the problem is, the way that Pini View is often spread is software bundles, packages of unwanted software that piggyback on the installation of a software you initially wanted. In short, you can have a lot of other unwanted programs running in the system. To stay away from the lengthy and complicated process of seeking for the malware and trying to remove it, I recommend using Gridden Soft and Time Malware. By running a full scan, you will make you check every single part of the system. Due to the effectiveness of the app, it will not take more than 10 minutes to find and stop the proxy software and also remove all the unwanted programs present in the system. And it doesn't take too much of your system resources, so we'll be able to use the system in the meantime. Once the scan is finished, click Clean Now to delete all the detected items. For proxyware, this also includes eliminating all the hooks it creates in registry, task scheduler, and even system services. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.